Nine years ago today, the Napa earthquake struck, causing extensive damage in that North Bay city. It was a deadly quake, and as Crown Forest Teresa Astacio reports, the 6.0 quake led to some big changes. The, I thought our house had been hit by the wine train um, and my irrational sleep deprived mother of two little kids. Lindsay Gallagher remembers vividly when the 2014 earthquake hit Napa. We uh, live in a great Victorian house uh, here in downtown Napa. A lot of history there. Uh, we lost chimneys and walls and windows and the refrigerator tipped over and it was uh, pretty amazing. I met Gallagher Thursday. She showed me around Napa remembering the past. The corner office at the top where you see kind of the turret that literally fell off into the street during the earthquake and was open. Um, it has since been retrofitted and I actually sat in that office for about two years when I first started with Visit Napa Valley and my, I thought to myself, I mean, this is either the, the, the worst office in town or the safest because it's now been uh, completely retrofitted. And, and how far the city has come from that fateful day. 150 buildings suffered severe damage and more than 1,000 had moderate issues. The courthouse is back and running, but it took years to rebuild. I think the earthquake really helped propel not only the recovery, but the next phase, uh, which we're in now. New development like restaurants and shops that have helped invigorate the city and helped attract new tourist dollars. Gallagher says that a few spots like the old post office remain untouched since the earthquake, but that too will get its due remodel. Quite a transformation that will take place in that beautiful historic post office building. It has been purchased by a developer who intends to put a hotel in in that space. I believe they will preserve the uh, historic post office building as a lobby and common area and restaurant and then the hotel will be built behind and above that. And Gallagher says that more plans are also in the works for other parts of downtown hit the hardest by the quake. She says it feels good to reflect back and look to the future. Um, this is a community that comes together like no other when we face adversity and certainly between wildfires and pandemic we have faced our fair share here in Napa uh, Valley and in the city of Napa, but we really come together so well around common challenges and cleaning up from this earthquake and uh, restoring and returning things back to, to normal um, was a huge priority. In Napa, Teresa Stasio, Cron 4 News.